G'day guys, how's it going? It's uh, Austin Reach here with another gameplay video and today I'm doing Bus Simulator which is a game that came out on the PSN store about two days ago and um, it's over here in Australia it's about $50 I think, $55 it might be um, I'm not sure if that's with the PlayStation Plus uh, discount or not but um, yeah I got it for $55 bucks, so I'm on pre-order and uh, so um, I've had a, a day or two to have a go at it, and um, we'll uh, we'll get into a, a bus route here. So this is just a normal route. You can um, pick your your weather and um, and time of day and stuff here, and um, whatever sort of a um, route you want to take. We'll just do a random one. Um, you can also choose a different bus. I'll just choose the the first bus you start off with, which I've kind of like customised the the look of the bus, and um, we'll get stuck into it. So you can start off in the uh, third person view, or you can go into the the first person view. I like to drive in the third person and then uh, go into the first person when we uh, get to the bus station. So. We just take off and put an indicator on. We've got a little map down the bottom there and it's got a H on the map where uh, where the stops are. You stop here and you press the square button and opens up the doors and the passengers get in. Every once in a while someone asks for a ticket so I click on the L3 button and it takes you to this first person view and go into the ticket machine and what do they want? They want a, a day ticket. A senior one ticket, and I got to give him four dollars sixty change. So I click on the two twice, fifty in the ten. And that's all good. So I'll go back up to the normal view and shut the doors. Put my indicator on. Yeah, put your indicator indicator on. And gives you, um, I think it gives you bonus XP and stuff. And uh, try not to hit any cars, which um. I've been pretty good at doing that lately. There you go, there's one right there. Yeah, it was a $850 fine. So you don't want to do that too much. Also, um, you can hit pedestrians if they cross the road. It's about a 20 grand fine, so... You don't want to do that too often. But anyway, um, the, game's, the gameplay is pretty good. Um, driving around, it's pretty fluid. Um, the buses, yeah, especially when you're turning corners and stuff, uh, it's a bit like in real life when you see a bus turn the corner, they take it out wide and hook it back in. It all feels pretty much realistic. Put the indicator on, pull into the next stop here. Right on time, thank you. And you get perfect timing and perfect position points and stuff. That all goes towards your um, final score, I think. Alright, we got a single, regular, and they want two tickets. So we got two. Give them 60 cents change. I need a ticket. And this guy wants one as well, weekly, regular, one ticket. He wants 12 bucks, so we'll just give him a whole bunch of twos. Thank you. And another one. Jeez. Uh, day, regular, one. She wants $3.80 back. And that's it. We're off again. So we shut the doors. So um oh. really stuck that up and nearly hit the guy. But now I'm stuck. What's going on? Hey there. Long <laughs> time no see. Oh hi. Yes indeed. What have I done? Was, uh, oh, I had the doors. Uh, yeah, I right. had the doors um, open. I thought I was shutting them. Anyway, yeah. the bus won't go if you get the doors open. I must have clicked on the button. Yeah. Anyway, we're off again. We'll go around the corner here. Put the next H up into the middle of this section of the map. This is the opening part of the map. Opening part of the game. Um, the map opens up a bit more when you um, do more objectives in the story mode of the game. And um, 
over up six different sections of the city. I think it's, uh, uh, I think the city's probably a European city of some sort. You do get paid in um, euros, I think. So I don't know if it's going to be a real city or just some um, made-up version of a city, but um, it's quite good. It's um, this is kind of like a a little um. Not a big bustling city, this is like a little town sort of thing. So, um, must uh, go into a bigger city a bit later on in the game. Yeah, I'll give this guy his ticket. We had the correct change, so, um. Didn't they get her on the traffic stops for you when you take off again? And you got these speed humps, which I. Um, don't see half the time you go find over them, they, um, they deduct the XP off you. There's potholes as well on the road, which are pretty hard to, to see, uh, you gotta, um, look out for them as well. So you get rated at the end of the, uh, of a run for, um, a five-star rating for a perfect run or not, and the score goes on, yeah, the star system and that, so, if you hit any of them, you um your score goes down a bit. All right, this guy wants a weekly senior, and he wants one, so we give him that. You want six bucks back? Thank you. May I have and this guy wants also wants a weekly regular. And he's at the quick train, so we're off we go. So I uh, um, suppose you can um. I suppose you could play the game in the... a lot of people probably play it in um, first person view but I find it a bit hard to uh, drive around in that sort of view I find that easier in this view There's no traffic lights around here as well so I just usually go in through the... through the intersection I think when you do spread out into the biggest part of the city you, um, you get to the parts with the traffic lights but at the moment, yeah, I'll just cut straight through. Hopefully, they stop for you. Doesn't always work, but yeah. <laughs> at the moment, so good. Negator on. Boom. Right. Jump on, jump off. Another person wants a ticket. So I think you can, this ticket system, I think you can, um, you don't need to, uh, have this on, so I think you can, um, uh, drive the bus without having to, uh, worry about doing all this ticket system stuff, it does it all automatically, but, um, I've got it left on, it uh, just makes you feel like a bus driver, I suppose, that's the whole, um, idea of the game, gives you a bit of more, um, you know, realistic sort of a feel of the game. Now we've got to go up and go up around the bend. Stop. Person crossing the road, which I've I've hit before, and they just walk out in front of you. It's quite expensive when you you do a, a bus route that costs yeah you, know, you make you make 15 grand and hitting the pedestrian costs 20 grand. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit costly, costly. But anyway, um. We're off again. It's quite interesting as well when you're driving around and um, get on the busier routes and more people get in the into the bus, listening to some of their conversations is um, quite funny. Also, when you, you buy a new bus and a bigger bus, they um, speed up. They comment on your new bus and how good it looks and all sort of stuff. So yeah, the, the, the game updates with what you're, you're doing. You buy a new bus, it updates, and people talk about it and stuff. So that's it's a nice little touch as well. But anyway, we're um, coming along to the next stop around the bend here. So I'm not really sure um, how long the story mode goes for. Um, I got up to, uh, 
you level up as well, your XP levels you up, and um, I got up to level 11 before uh, the game aired out on me, and um, I had to restart the game, and it, it um, deleted my uh, save game, it corrupted it, so I had to start the crew mode all again from scratch from level 1, which I wasn't really happy about, but I'm not sure if that's the game or the console, but um, it happened, so um, yeah, something to keep an eye out for. Anyway, somebody's dropped some rubbish around here somewhere, there it is. Dirty bastards don't pick up their crap, so I'll pick that up for him. And, um, back in the cockpit. And it says you finished your route. So you can either drive back to the depot, or you can just go into this section here, and, um, and end it immediately in this section. You can, um, you got a door menu, you got light menus, you can turn on your lights and all that stuff. Uh, you got a disabled handicap ramp, which, um, you can, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Which, um, yeah, there you go, it comes out. You get, um, people in wheelchairs coming around and stuff. So that's always, uh, good for them to, to have. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll do the quick end drive. And then we get this um, final page comes up, and all your. you can up, upgrade your bus stops and stuff. And upgrade my levels, so I'm nearly up to level 7. And uh, got me cash flow, so I made uh, 21 grand on that route with my uh, collision that I showed you guys of 854 bucks. So um, I got. Four and a little tiny bit star rating on that, so uh, that's just the, the short little route that you start off with at the start of the um, game. So since I've restarted, I've done uh, I've done nine routes and I've picked up 167 characters or passengers and travelled 21 kilometres and so it's got a little stat page there, which is interesting. Um, that's your stats, you got your, that's where you go to, um, start up your objectives and stuff like that. Um, you got employees, so here you can actually, uh, um, you can hire new bus drivers, and, um, you can go into the route planner here, and, uh, if I press the right button on here, Probably not on that one, probably I'll go down to uh, the second one here. No, don't want to do that. I press assign, so um, that's assigned to route one. So this is assigned that to the route two, and this Claudia Shield I've just uh, employed, clearing on that. And so these, these bus driver guys, they just go off and do their routes while you're off driving on your own. So they help you create more cash so I've got 195 grand at the at the moment so every time I drive I might get 20 grand but they might give me um, another an extra you know 10 or 15 grand each so um, they're always making money for you which is good we've got the bus garage here so I've got the uh, uh, I've got the two buses unlocked at the moment um, this is the shop, so we scoot along here, and um, buses unlock every you know, two or three levels that you level up, level 9 and 12, and I do have this Man Lion City bus, which was a pre-order bus, um, which I've got, and um, so that's the shop, and then we've got multiplayer, which I haven't tried yet, so I'm not quite sure what it, that entails, I don't know if you, I think you can both drive buses at diff um, doing convoys and stuff or I suppose you can jump in the same bus and one person goes around and collects tickets or whatever but um yeah that's uh that's about it for the meantime so yeah this is a uh, bus simulator I am um, thoroughly enjoying this game I I've had that one problem I've told you about I hope it's just a uh, isolated sort of a scenario, I hope it doesn't happen again or else uh, there'd be trouble, but um this game's 
a lot worth it, you know, if you like your simulation games, this is one of the better ones I've played lately. Uh, it's a lot of great fun, and um, I strongly recommend it. So, um, anyway, there's a quick look for you, and uh, until next time, I'm Austin Rage, and I'll catch you later. Bye.